guys, so right now I'm just about to give you a tour of my vanity. So this is my entire vanity station right here. Okay. So first I'm going to start off with the lights. I got the lights from Home Depot. It came up as, as one little strip. It didn't come with the bulbs or any type of wiring in the back because they're meant to be for your bathroom. But what I did was I cut an extension cord and I stripped it and I connected it to the back of that and I just bought the bulbs separately. Um, I will link the video that I got that from below if you would like to know how to do it as well. And I got this mirror from an actual, just an actual shop in my hometown. It was actually light brown and had water damage, but I just sandpapered it down and spray painted it a canola brown color. And I also painted my bed the same exact color. I will actually put that in the link below as well. I got this desk from overstock.com. And I put that in the link below as well. It was about $114, I think. Um, this big mirror was like $25 from my antique shop. And the the light, the lighting up here was about I think $14 and the bulbs were separate. So it probably came up to $20 for that. Um, I actually got this chair from my parents, which I don't know where they actually got it from. I'm sorry. I think it was like a Hobby Lobby place, but it's just like a, a steel little wired chair, I guess. And, um, and we just put this cushion on top of it. So that's the chair. I'm sorry. I can't link anything below for that because I don't know where it's from. Um, so I guess I'll just start off with what's on top of my vanity. I have a water bottle and um, a coaster that was already up here. My friend actually made this for me. Um, yeah, she gave it to me as a Christmas gift. I have my curling iron and my flat iron, which is on, so I almost burnt my finger. But yeah, I need one of those um, the little things that you slide it into. I'm buying one of those off eBay today. And I have a couple of my palettes. I have my eyeshadow palette, which has, I think it's 120 color. I got this off eBay. That's that. I have a contour and blush palette as well. And I just kind of painted it with fingernail polish around it because I had a couple more palettes. So I was trying to differentiate it with it, but um, I kind of broke this one, so that's not there. But these are my blush shades and this contour, and this was my highlight. So have that palette. I had a naked palette, but I can't find it. I misplaced it, and these videos really make you run out of breath. <laughs> and I also have a concealer palette. Looks like that. And I also got this off of eBay as well. But if I can find it on eBay, I will link it below as well. Then I just have a candle that I got from Walmart. It is the Hawaiian Pineapple Cilantro. It's about $4.99. I got some MAC Fix Plus right here. And um, I just have two of these little tea candles. Just for decoration. And a revolving mirror that I got from Walmart for about $10. I have my little Canon cases for my camera, so they're not really up here all the time. Some Germex, because you always need to keep your hands clean if you're going to do any makeup. Um, my little memory card holder, all that stuff just sitting up here for now. I have my lipstick and um, lip stain holder right here. I got this from the Dollar Tree, it was a dollar. And I just sit them up here like this. Um, normally, well, I wanted to do it like sit them up like this, but I don't have enough MAC ones, so they're all kind of just here. So, and I have a couple of lip stains from CoverGirl. It's CoverGirl Outlast 
These are the CoverGirl Outlast. And I have a couple of baby lips in here as well. I have all the colors, but I have a couple of them in my purse. And then I have a couple of MAC. And yeah, that's that. Like I said, I got that from Dollar Tree. I have this brush holder organizer thing from the Goodwill. And I just fill it with my filling beads. That you, the color fill beads that you get from Michaels. And if you're gonna get something this tall, you're gonna actually need more than one pack of beads, but you could just get it, get a jar or something and put them in. You don't have to do all of this fancy stuff. I just did it this way because this was about $4, so. This is where I keep all of my eye brushes and um, like my eye brushes, spoolies, concealer brushes, couple of scissors, this is where I have all my blush and contour. I have a, um, this is the Sephora, um, a Sigma. This is the Sigma 188. And a couple of Walmart um, collection, Christmas collection ones. And this is just a paintbrush that I got. It nicely applies it as well. I also got... I'm running out of breath. I also got the MAC 187 brush, another Walmart one. This is the Sigma brush here, the Walmart, and this is a so another Sephora. This is the bronzer, and I really love it. It's really soft. So that's that, and I have my um, pencil holder behind there, and a couple of Kabukis on the side which I really don't rarely use. So, I have this little, my little iPod dock remote and my camera remote. And then I would get water all over my desk. But anyway, so now for what's in the desk and I'm gonna scoop back so I can actually show you guys an overview of my desk pulled all the way out. Okay, so that is the entire desk and this is my entire collection. So what I'm basically trying to say is basically you don't need a big humongous collection to have a vanity. It's just, it could be yours by yourself and just make you feel good when you want to put your makeup on. So I'm going to start over here in this little corner. I actually just have a little soap. This is a soap dish. And I just put like my hair ties and little clips for when I'm doing um, pin curls. I have a little tweezer. It's just like a little jonky where you put your um, little hair pins and stuff at. Have that in the corner there. I have a the Mary Kay Oil Free Hydrating Gel. I don't even know why I got this, but it is really good. I think someone got it for me or I probably took it from my best friend. My little iPhone box and underneath there is just some eyelashes. I have some iPhone, my iPhone cords back there. This little section right here is just a, basically a little junky junk station. This is how I, where I put my little um, edge control on here to get my little edges. That's what that toothbrush is used for. So I don't think <laughs> that this is my toothbrush. I put this in here. I don't. This goes to my MacBook. These are little, you know, sponges thread for when I make my U-part wigs, some homemade stuff, like this is some homemade lip gloss here that one of my friends made for me. This is homemade eyeliner and that's some um, homemade primer or something like that. Have a EOS lip balm and my old eBay beauty blender which is still in nice shape other than its color. And then I have a little measuring tape. This little section, I just have my primers. I have some my Mary, I meant, not Mary, the Revlon. I have the Urban Decay. I have two of those, the primer potions. I have, um, this is the Monostat Chafing Cream. I just wrapped it up so it wouldn't, I wouldn't remind myself that it's Chafing Cream. I have a couple of, um, Mascaras, my Sephora, Great Lash. Really don't know what the other ones are really here because I don't use them. A couple of um, eyeshadows that I just got from the drugstore. Drugstore eyeshadows. That's not like in palettes. 
Um, yeah, and this is the Supreme eyeshadow there. And the center part, I have all of my foundations. I have, um, I think it's like a mineral powder. I don't really use this one or this one or that one. Those I got just from Walmart. I thought this one was kind of cool, but it doesn't really come in such a darker shade. But you kind of like just twist. What you do is you twist it until you get your color. That's supposed to be the concept, but it's not that awesome. It's not awesome. I actually have my Graftobian palette here, which I really do love, as you can see. I have used quite a bit of it. If I can get it open. I've used quite, quite a bit of that. It's about gone. This is in the shade. This is the warm palette number two. So it has buttermilk, desert sand, golden set, merry go. Okay, so my camera died, but. <laughs> so I have my Maybelline BB cream, and I have a Maybelline pure water makeup, which I hate. This is horrible but it was a dollar. I have a MAC Studio Fix. I have a MAC Select SPF Foundation. My Makeup Forever, which is in the shade N178. And a Pro Longwear Foundation in the ANC50. I also have a couple of Maybelline Superstay and the CoverGirl Queen Collection. I have the Pro Longwear Concealer and also the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And this is an S NC50. And the Pro Longwear is an NC50 as well. And then I have a mineral powder in medium dark and a mineral powder in dark. I have the Studio Tech Foundation, which I do not use. It was like $30 though, because I when the person at MAC put it on me, it was nice, but it's like kind of heavy now, but, and it's way darker than my skin tone, but it's like a cream foundation, and that's the Studio Tech. And then I also have a Studio Fix. My Studio Tech is in an NW50. My Studio Fix in an NW45. So yeah. And then I just have a bronzer back here. In this little station I have all my eyeliners and my jumbo pencils. And so I have like an e.l.f. cream liner. I got a, some eBay NARS eyeliner which is it was kind of nice. A couple of regular eyeliners that you get from the hair store. And just a bunch of eyeliners and lip pencils and stuff like that in that area. have a bunch of lip glosses here. I have some Sephora. A hard candy one. A couple from Victoria's Secret. From Bath and Body Works. I have a MAC. Eclectic Edge, it's like a nice orange color. I have some lip treatments in here. This one is from Mary Kay. And yeah, just a bunch of different lip glosses that I get. Some are from the dollar store and some are not. Then I have my blush right here. I have the Amberine Rose from MAC. I have a cream blush from NYX. NARS Orgasm and a couple of e.l.f. blushes right here. And then one that I get from Victoria's Secret. Nice pink booty rush blush. And back here in this little corner, I can't get back here. But I do have some face wipes. Some cheap little brush cleaner for the daily use. Using your brush. Some little samples of stuff that I got from Sephora and my glitters that I got from Hobby Lobby. They come like this and they're all stacked up like that. And also some hair glue. And Fray Check is right there. So that concludes what's in my drawer in my vanity. Let me give you one more quick overview look. Let's put those back. 
Alright, and for what's under my vanity, I just have, um, over here is my little laptop thing. You just hook this up and it blows air into your laptop so it won't overheat. I have my business management book and a Mac, well, little laptop holder back there. In this basket, I just throw all of my hair products like my blow dryers and... This is like my wig stand for when I'm making you part wigs. Just different little hair products, flat irons, some extra hair and stuff like that. Just a little junky basket and old MacBook charger. Like kind of stripped and broke. Then I have my little junky hair accessories in this little box. An extra keyboard cover for my MacBook and just some school supplies in there and some extra CDs if I'm trying to burn something. Then I have my Rebel T3i box which is my new camera that I'm currently using and I have my it's a shower caddy but it has like hair products in it so I have my brushes and combs. I have my edge control in here. Well, I have some argan oil. The one and only argan oil. Yeah. I have the Hicks edge control, which I love. And I also have like the best heat protector ever, which is trust me. I'm using this for like five years now, so I think that's pretty awesome. Then I just have some sewing thread stuck in there and a couple of scarves that I wear to bed. So I just keep all my hair accessories in there like that. And yeah. Alright. So here's another view of my vanity station. Pull this drawer out for you. See that? See it with it open. That's the side. This is the other side. And just excuse my trash can. Has to be taken out today. But I do hope this video was helpful and created a couple of ideas for you guys. Um, in all, I think this total, this whole entire vanity station was about 150 for everything. So I don't think that's bad at all. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.